Alan. In this video I'm gonna try to explain how to make a new home network based on a ubiquity edge router 10x. We're gonna make multiple VLANs, we are making them for the wireless, the wireless is saved, the Motica, uh, a NAS, so a server network, client network, a one interface, a VPN to my network, add some firewalling and that's about it. Let's see how that goes. So the first thing we do is we are adding the VLANs to the interfaces and Ubiquiti Edge Routers or maybe more products don't like it when you add a PVID and a VID, so a normal VLAN and the preferred VLAN for untagged both defined as VIDs. Then we are creating network interfaces, VLAN interfaces on the switch ports which we give an IP. All of this we have to do again because for some reason the router didn't like this. So I came to the conclusion, okay, let's go through the wizard and let the wizard fix the basic configuration for us. And then when that's fixed, we can continue and actually configure it right. Picking the one version didn't work out for me. I still tried things, but I quickly came to the conclusion that I needed to make it a switch, as we're doing here. I always make VLAN 777 my management VLAN. And after that, I figured, well, then I'll make my own nothing. There, I also made a mistake, but I'll talk about that in a bit. So the first thing that we do is we're creating the nothing and making it not certain subnets for certain interfaces. And I should never have selected the interface address at the bottom to ETR zero. The next thing, create the other VLANs interfaces on the router. Create the DSP network so that when you connect to the, the router, you can actually use it without having to statically create an, in, an IP. Then we're giving the router a name and putting the time zone right. Then we're creating some more VLAN interfaces on the router, giving it an IP and so on. As you can see here, some ports, one, two, and three, are directly connectable ports that are directly connected to a VLAN. Port seven, however, is made for the access points, which will divide the VLANs over different SSIDs. So there's an SSID for clients, there's an SSID for the Motica, there's an SSID for the Motica unsafe. Here we're adding all the VLANs we just created so they can actually connect to the internet. Then we're creating firewall rules. When you're creating firewall rules, make sure that you start by making everything accept. Make the default action accept, make the last rule and um, accept all. Just make sure that you're not getting locked out. Later on, you can change it to not accept stuff. But being locked out of your router or firewall is really a really annoying position to be in. Being locked out of the router can usually be fixed by using a Kazol cable, but you read a nut. Here I was trying a packet capture to figure out if why I couldn't connect to the internet.
and here I finally figured out that I should not have selected the interface. And after all that, poof, the internet actually worked. So, we continue by adding some extra VLANs, giving them my piece. Make sure they can all go to the internet except for the Domotica and save one. Giving them some dedicated ports on the router. And these are the steps I took to create the basic functionalities of a new network. The firewalls are still not complete and I will show that in a future video. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe and watch my other videos.